So there's basically three ways to make more money in your business. One, you can sell more. And what that looks like is just get out there and just sell more, increase your marketing, increase your sales percentage. That might not improve the margins, but it will improve business. Number two is charge more, increase prices. And that will definitely improve your profit margins. And then number three, sell more to current customers. The whole business game is this cost of acquisition versus LTV. You ever watch Shark Tank? They say stuff like, how much does it cost you to acquire a customer? Do you know what it costs you to acquire a customer? It's basically versus the lifetime value of that customer. And the lifetime value of a customer is once you have a customer, how much money does that customer spend with you? For example, let's say you're an online trainer and let's say you're charging $300 a month and your average client stays with you for 18 months. That means your lifetime value of that customer will be 54. Anything you spend under 5,400 to acquire a customer, you'll be profitable. That's the whole game. Lifetime value versus cost of acquisition. The beauty of selling more to your existing customers is you've already acquired them. So when you sell them more stuff, boom, you don't have to spend money to acquire them. This raises your LTV, drastically improve your margins because now you don't have to spend money to acquire that customer. They're already a customer. And it's easier to sell to people who you already sold to. Assuming you gave them a good experience, assuming what they bought was valuable, then they'll be a lot more eager to buy stuff from you because now they already trust you. They already know you, they trust you, they had a good experience with you. It's just like, how it's easier to have sex with someone you've already had sex with. It might sound like I'm just trying to be funny, but I really feel like that illustrates the point, right? If you wanna go out and have sex with a new person, you gotta take a lot of steps. But if somebody you're already having sex with, you just text them. You up? It's so much easier. Same thing, it's easier to sell to somebody who you already sold to, if they had a good experience. This is underutilized in a lot of like small businesses. Small businesses are just trying to get new customers, trying to get new customers, trying to get new customers. But what they really need to be doing is increasing the lifetime value. I think that's something that people should really focus on. So how do you do that? There's a few different ways you can do that. One, you can have them upgrade to something new. You know, online training business, maybe you can charge them more for more one-on-one -on -one time with you, maybe more check-ins or something like that. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. So they can upgrade their current package or you know, add-ons. You can sell them something up. Like if you sell multiple products, you can just try to keep adding stuff to it. For example, I bought this iPad Pro, you know, but then Apple came out with this fucking keyboard, the magic keyboard. All right, so I, so I get this shit, right? But then if I really want to do it, I also got to buy the pencil. So I really just wanted the iPad, but I ended up buying all types of other shit as well. Apple does a phenomenal job of this. So you can have add-ons. Also, you can sell other people's products. That's underutilized too. So let's say you're a roofer, you out here roofing, helping people with their roofs and shit. I don't know what roof, I actually don't know what roofers do. I never lived in a house, but I know people be out here roofing. I've only lived in condos and penthouses and shit my whole life. Let's say you're a roofer, you just roofed somebody's house. You can hit them up and say, hey man, my, 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 my homie Trayvon, he's got a plumbing business and he's offering discounts to, to my roofing customers. I don't know if that's something you're interested in or not, but you can get the, whenever you need a plumber, just tell them you know Big Brandon and he's going to give you 50% off. Something like that. I think they were selling Xbox controllers when I was in the Apple store the other day. They sold Xbox controllers. They're fucking competitors, Microsoft. They selling their controllers. To, oh, man, if you buy an iPad, you know you, you want to play some of these games, man, you're going to need the fucking controller. Those are three different ways to increase lifetime value. You can upgrade what they have. You can add more shit and you can sell other people's stuff too and get a commission off that. All those are easy ways to increase lifetime value, which will make your business a lot more profitable.